guys, these are the things we're about to learn. I'm exchanging information, I'm in tune with the world, in the air there is the message, for me to learn and grow, so, use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone, these are my tools, use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone, to connect to you. Watch TV, use the phone, these are my tools Use the web, read the news Watch TV, use the phone to connect Lesson 26, talking about movies Hello everybody, remember our last class? Vimos como os verbos se comportam no passado simples Não é muito diferente do que já havíamos aprendido O auxiliar continua sendo responsável por transformar as frases em interrogativas e negativas, só que ao invés de do e does, já estamos lidando com did. Examples. She came to my house last night. Did she come to my house last night? She did not come to my house last night. She didn't come to my house last night. Aprendemos um tanto de verbos no passado simples. Para os verbos regulares, basta acrescentarmos é, de, e, de ao final dos mesmos. Help, helped. Need, needed. Então, vamos rever os verbos irregulares que mudam a sua forma no passado. Get, got. Go, went. Buy, bought. Teach, taught. Think, thought, come, came, can, could, hear, heard, speak, spoke. Qualquer dúvida, ask your teacher. Okay, let's move on. So, how did it go? How did what go? The date. How did it go? Oh, fine. And what did you wear? Those high hills, and they were very uncomfortable. Where did you go? Oh, we went to see his friends paint. Ok, guys, pay attention. Prestem atenção. Para fazermos uma pergunta, colocamos o auxiliar did antes do sujeito e depois da WH question. Como did já está no passado, não precisamos colocar os outros verbos no passado também. E eles permanecem no infinitivo. What happened? Oh... Take it easy. You're asking too many questions. I just want to know how your date went. Oh, it went very well. Thank you. There, I said. Did anything happen? You don't give up, Julia. Okay, I'll tell you everything. Take it easy significa vá com calma. E um novo phrasal verb, give up, significa Desistir. Julia doesn't give up. She wants to know it all. Ela quer saber tudo. What is this movie we are going to see? It is a Brazilian movie. I love Brazilian cinema. Me too. Okay, let's buy the tickets. Go ahead. I have to call my mother first. Hello? Hi, Lucas. Is Julia here? I'm at the movies with Mariana. Why don't you call Pedro and come to meet us here? Okay. Bye. Go ahead. Go, nós já sabemos que significa ir. Go ahead é vá em frente. We have half an hour before the movie starts. Do you want to do something? No. Let's just hang out over there. Mariana, you know what I'm thinking. No, what? Where did the cinema come from? Mm. Oh, look! The cinema was invented in 1895 by two brothers, Louis and Auguste Lumière. Oh. 
They were from France. At that time, the cinema was only another form of registering, like photography. After them came Georges Méliès, another Frenchman. He was the father of the cinema because he was the first one to look at the films as a new form of art. Well, prestem atenção no que a Mariana descobriu sobre a história do cinema. The cinema was invented in 1895 by two brothers, Louis and Auguste Lumière. They were from France. Ooh, France! I would love to visit France! Ah, para falar a verdade, eu conheceria o mundo inteiro. Então, que tal aproveitarmos a oportunidade e aprendermos alguns países? United States, England, Italy, Japan, China, Canada, Mexico, Egypt, South Africa, Israel. So, the cinema was invented in France. Mm -hmm. I thought the United States were the ones who invented it. No, the first American movie was made in 1915. Mariana. Were you the teacher's pet in your school? No, I was not. Why did you say that? Because everything I ask you, you know the answer. Oh, no. Teacher's pet. É uma expressão que significa o queridinho da professora. E thought. Vocês se lembram do significado? Apareceu na cena. Hello. Thought é o passado de think. Think, thought. Thought. Think. What about Brazilian cinema? When did it start? Oh, I guess it started in 1910. In the 60s, we had our golden time. And in the 90s, Brazilian cinema was born again. So, what are you? A movie specialist? No, not even close. Just a big fan. Movies can be a source of information. There are lots of Brazilian movies that tell important facts about our culture, our history. We can see some of them whenever you want. Okay, we can do a movie section in my house this weekend. Or in Lucas' house. He has a DVD now. That's right, I forgot. Oh, yes. Nice tip, Mariana. Boa dica. Movies can be a source of information. Os filmes podem ser uma fonte de informação. Bem, apareceram algumas palavras novas por aqui, mas elas se parecem muito com... O português são elas fan, specialist, history, culture and information. Deu para pegar tudo? What a coincidence! The boys are here to watch a movie too. Oh, that is a big coincidence. Hello, girls. Hi. Hello, Mariana. Oh. Hello, Pedro. <coughs> oh. We're going to watch a Brazilian movie. Would you like to go with us? Yes, I love movies made in Brazil. Let's buy our tickets. No, I can go with you, Lucas. So, what a coincidence. <laughs> Review. Ok, hoje vimos o passado simples e como não é difícil utilizá-lo com as WH questions. Vejam alguns exemplos. Where did he go last night? Did he go shopping with his wife? What did he say to her? He said he didn't like that restaurant. Para formarmos frases interrogativas ou negativas, basta colocarmos o auxiliar do passado, que é o did, antes do sujeito. E como did já está no passado, 
Não precisamos colocar os outros verbos no passado também. All clear? A novidade do vocabulário foi uma rápida volta ao mundo. Let's do it again. United States, England, Italy, Japan, China, Canada, Mexico, South Africa, Israel. A dica de hoje é, today's tip is, existem muitos países aí pelo mundo afora, então, por que vocês não pesquisam os nomes desses outros países e surpreendam a sua professora e seus colegas no próximo encontro? Então, combinado, you have homework to do, teacher. They're all yours. Good luck. Okay, kisses again. I'm changing information. I'm in tune with the world. In the air there is the message for me to learn and grow. So use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone. These are my tools. Use the web, read the news, watch TV, use the phone to connect to you. message as I sing with you.